In this work, we present a new method for generating natural focal blur in a VR headset. Let's talk about split Lohmann multifocal displays. When looking at real world scenes, the lens of our eye adjusts to form a sharp image on a retina, accounting for objects positioned at different depths. Unfortunately, most head mounted displays fundamentally lack the ability to render focus cues. Conventional headsets consist of a 2D screen and a lens that makes the screen appear to be a fixed distance from the eye. However, the displayed images remain flat. But is it possible to create a lens that simultaneously positions pixels on a display to different distances from the eye? Consider first this forest system designed to focus light from a display onto a virtual image plane. To adjust focus, we can add a liquid lens into the system whose power can be adjusted without requiring any mechanical movement. Another approach is to insert a Lohmann lens into the system, which consists of two optical elements known as cubic faceplates. Focus is adjusted by laterally shifting these two elements with respect to one another. Now to offer per pixel focus control, we start by creating two 4F optical systems, producing two virtual image planes. The key idea behind this work is to split the Lohmann lens, placing the cubic face plates in different parts of the optical system. Like before, we can mechanically translate both lenses in order to adjust focus. Now, the advantage of this system is that focus can also be adjusted by placing an optical element at the intermediate image plane that redirects light. Moreover, through the use of a spatial light modulator, or SLM, we can independently adjust the focus settings for individual pixels on a display. This optical design forms the basis for our split Lohmann display. Here's an overview of our proposed setup. Light from an RGB display passes through a cubic phase plate and forms an image on the SLM. The SLM reflects the light back at angles that depend on the given depth image, and this light passes through the cubic phase plate a second time. A beam splitter relays this image towards an eyepiece. When looking through the eyepiece, we are then immersed into a virtual world that supports focal blur. Now let's look at some real world results. Here's a photo of our optical setup. RGB images are given to the OLED on the left and depth images are given to the SLM on the right. Here, we show what a camera sees when looking through the eyepiece. In this video, we adjust the focus settings of our camera's lens to bring different regions of our display into focus. The display can also take RGB and depth videos as input, allowing the viewer to experience 3D content at up to 60 Hz. Because of our display's small computational footprint, 
the Split Lumen Displays supports streaming of 3D content from interactive programs as well. Please refer to the paper for more details. Thank you.